Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. It is a Friday, 8.30 in the morning. I'm just getting going with my day. I do have a lot I wanna to do today. I have a bunch of errands I have to run that we're gonna do pretty soon. I have a couple of videos I wanna film later today and then a few household things in between. Um, I did get some cooking done last night. I did use up the last of the like, well, actually, it's not the last of the Thanksgiving leftovers, but I used up the last of the turkey stuffing, green bean casserole, and gravy, and I made a fun little casserole with that. So here's some footage of that. To start off, I filled the bottom of a glass baking dish with leftover stuffing, set that aside, and then I dumped in all the leftover turkey into this bowl. I'm just breaking it up with my fingers here into bite-sized pieces. And I didn't use a recipe for this. I just kind of used my intuition. I used what I had to use up and I added a few extra ingredients, but mostly it was just based around using up the stuffing, turkey, and green bean casserole. <laughs> I'm adding one can of cream of mushroom soup in with the turkey and mixing that around just to add some moisture and some extra flavor just to make sure it's extra good. If you're ever in doubt if something's going to be good, add a can of cream soup. Any kind. Always makes it good. I added some green bean casserole. I didn't want to add too much because I didn't want the beans to overpower the rest of it, but it turned out really, really good with this amount. Then I added some heavy whipping cream as well as some whole milk just to, again, add that extra liquid for when it's baking. That extra liquid helps it to not get too dry, not get too thick. Worked out really well. And then I had the remnants of a three pound container of sour cream left and I just wanted to use it up. So I just kind of threw that in there too. Then back to the stuffing mix, I added the leftover gravy on top of the stuffing. Then I added the turkey green bean cream soup mixture on top of that. This next step I probably could have skipped, but I was afraid it wasn't going to be good enough, so I added an additional can of cream of mushroom soup on top just for extra goodness. But like I said, it was a little bit unnecessary, I think. Then I added another container of stuffing. I had a lot of stuffing left over. And I wanted to just kind of use that as a topping for the casserole, so I'm spreading it out evenly. Then I also had some Parmesan cheese that I wanted to use up just a little bit, so I'm sprinkling that on top. And there we are, completed casserole. You can tell I dipped into it quick to try it before I even filmed it, and it was delicious. It is one of my favorite leftovers. It was really good with the leftover mashed potatoes, and after we ran out of those, I made some white rice and had it with that. So very good recipe. I'm really proud of myself for using all the leftovers the way that I have been. One of my goals in 2020 is to get so much better at using leftovers and also just like not having leftovers. That would be great too, to just cook enough for our family. I mean, leftovers are great, don't get me wrong. I love having leftovers. It's important, especially when my husband is working different hours and we're not all on the same schedule. It's nice to just have food in the fridge that people can grab and eat, but our family is, you know, a family of four, and both of our kids are turning into fairly picky eaters. So sometimes I'll cook like a normal sized casserole and we'll have more than half of it left over. And that's kind of irritating. So I'm working on that. But anyways, I was really proud of myself for using up all the Thanksgiving leftovers. The only thing I have left that I'm hoping maybe I'll have time to do today, otherwise I'll do it tomorrow morning, is the sweet potato casserole. I still have a ton of that that I wanna try to make, I think, sweet potato pancakes. We'll see. The cranberry apple crisp that I made in my last vlog, we finished that off last night. We still have a few of the muffins. I think I'm gonna throw those in the freezer today, but other than that, I'm doing good on Thanksgiving leftovers, so that is good. I went thrift shopping a couple days ago. I'm gonna film a thrift haul later today after I get back from the store, and I'll show you guys what I get at the store. I just need a few Christmas things, you know? Um, we have a lot of Christmas stuff, which is not all up yet, but I wanna get a couple of nice new Christmas things for our new house this year. So that's my goal. Um, I'm gonna go get Rosie up because I can hear her banging around up there. She slept in, Lila's already at school, but Rosie is still sleeping, So, um, but I can hear her kind of banging around up there so she's awake. So I'm gonna get her and I think we're gonna head to, stores I'm hoping to hit up are TJ Maxx, Joanne Fabrics, and possibly Target, possibly Walgreens. And then we have to pick up groceries between 10 and 11 at Walmart. So that's the plan, let's go. What 
of the joys of having a two-year-old is there's one song that she wants to listen to over and over again and she will scream if she doesn't get it so I'm trying to like condition her to listen to it once a day but if I try to play like Christmas music right now which is what I would choose to listen to in the car no she screams the whole time <laughs> it sounds cute but it's not her song is me by Taylor Swift which is a good song I used to really like that song but hearing it 12 times a day every day it's just kind of not <laughs> you know we are here at TJ Maxx let's go in and see what Christmassy things they have the two things on my list are a wreath and some mistletoe do they even sell mistletoe I don't know but we'll see what do you think oh really Okay. We gotta wait for them to have our groceries, okay? Oh, is that too bright? Alright, so we finished TJ Maxx. I ran into Joanne's real quick, and now we are waiting for our grocery pickup at Walmart. This is actually a different Walmart than I've ever picked up from before, so it'll be interesting to try. I have done it at two other Walmarts and had pretty much good luck with everything, so I love Walmart grocery pickup. I've talked about it before, I think, but it's just a really convenient situation, especially if you have small children. Finished all the shopping, thank goodness heading home oh, no. now we ran thank goodness i know right yeah yeah here's a shot of our grocery haul just pretty standard stuff that we needed for the week at walmart okay guys we are back and i put some eye makeup on i was going to film a video and i still want to but Rosie's not asleep yet and I can't find the remote to my camera so I'm gonna have to look around for that but in the meantime I wanted to show you guys what I got today and also my thrift store haul from a couple of days ago so I went to TJ Maxx like I said I wanted to and I got a good variety of things the first thing I got are these sorry the sun is so bright a pack of beauty sponges this is by the brand Kenzie never tried it before but I thought it would be fun to try and I believe this was $10 for eight sponges so it's a pretty good deal. I did take one out and they feel a little bit hard so hopefully they'll still work. I'm not too worried but I will keep you guys posted on these. A couple of these really cute Christmas stickers for presents you know. The two from stickers you know what these are. They're just so cute. I got these, I also got a pack of bows. I think those are still in my office, but I got a big pack of bows to go with these and I got some wrapping paper. So hopefully I will be set to start wrapping presents because I can't wait to get them under the tree. That's like my favorite thing about Christmas is having presents under the tree. That's really cute. <laughs> Here, oh, another makeup item. Oh my gosh, they had the Too Faced major hangover rx primer i love this primer this is like the best primer in the world i love it i cannot believe i just got it for 14.99 and this is the big one i've gone through a mini size and a full size of these so i probably should have bought two honestly i love it so much i'm so excited for this this i got on clearance kind of worried that it might be broken because it was like on clearance but it's on clearance for 12 dollars it looks like it was originally $15. It's on clearance for $12, so it's not really that much off, but it's just a giant candle holder, and I thought this would be so cute on top of the piano, possibly, so yeah. Oh, it's squeaky. I got myself a pair of sweats. These are Calvin Klein. <laughs> I already have this pair of sweats. I bought it the last time I was at TJ Maxx, but I love them so much. They're so comfortable that I thought if I ever found another pair, I would get them. I just can never have enough lounge pants. And these were, yeah, 15 bucks, originally 49. Wow, that's that's a lot. And then two more makeup products. I got this Marc Jacobs kit. I was actually looking at one of these at Sephora. I really wanna try the eyeliners. I think these are both eyeliners. And then that's the mascara. I think I've heard good things about that too. So I really wanted to try these. So I got that. And then I also got another Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio. I have the darker one and I love it. So I wanted to get this one when I saw that it was on sale. $10 is a good price. I love blush. You guys know this. So I got this one, but I want to take a look at it. There it is on the inside. Not necessarily winter colors, but really, really beautiful. I think that'll look 
really great on my skin tone and yeah I'm excited and I got these boxes I didn't realize they say to and from on them but I needed some clothing type boxes for gifting so I got these I also got this adorable this is like the favorite Christmas thing I've gotten this year I think this is I mean you can see what it is it's a wooden Christmas tree but I don't know what it is I just love it so much it's just like my vibe it's like how I want my whole house to look it's just beautiful I love the wood details and the different textures it's just super cute so that was one of my favorite finds and that was only 20 bucks and then I also picked up this this is just like a pencil holder in marble I thought the pattern was really cute it's really heavy it's gonna fall out of my hand but I thought that was really cute to go in my office all right let's go through my thrift haul real quick sorry this isn't like the most official thing I, my back has been bothering me I'm just not feeling the greatest but I really wanted to share these things with you so these obviously aren't thrifted these I got at Target where did I get these Kohl's. I got these at Kohl's and these are both for Rosie probably, but I just thought these were so cute. I'm trying to find an outfit for Lila. It's kind of hard, but I got these two for Rosie and I got to figure out something sort of matching or coordinating for Lila and I can take their pictures together. Now this is all from St. Denny's. Actually, it's not. It's Salvation Army. All from the thrift store now. So this is a candle holder. I thought this was really cute. Kind of like that other one that I got, only this one doesn't fold up and it holds. Looks like bigger candles. Um... I got a mini muffin tin because why not this thing is Christmassy this is like a, a little basket there was actually like three or four of these I just grabbed one and it's like spray painted gold I just thought it was cute a cute little easy to store decorative piece and really you could do anything you could hang this on the wall you could use it as a tray you could set it up against like on a shelf so that's cool I got a martini shaker. I did not have a martini shaker, now I do. This is actually the Target brand, I think. Yeah, Threshold is the Target brand. So it's like a decent brand. I mean, I would like it even more if it was vintage, but this is okay. I got two of these. These are just, I think they're brass candle holders. They're really heavy for like the long candles and I've just been really enjoying candles lately. There's the other one. And then I got this kind of weird looking thing but it called to me. It, I just thought it was cool. And it looks, you know, doesn't that look fancy? Like some like official seal or something? I don't know. But yeah, so I got that. Oh, this is some more makeup. I got this at Kohl's. I'll probably talk about these in another haul um, in a makeup video, but yeah, I got this. This, oh my God, I had wanted this for so long. It's the Pure bl uh, Blush Book. So those are the blushes that it has in there and I have the eyeshadow palette from this collection and I just always wanted the blush palette. I'm surprised I never bought it, but I never did. So now that it finally, I saw it on sale and I was like, that has to be mine. That is meant to be mine. And now it's mine. I also got these at Kohl's. Sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit. These are just two headbands. They were also on clearance and I thought they were so cute. It has like a little bit of green in it. And then this has like the different textures, like velvet, it's so cute. And I wear headbands all the time, as I'm sure you guys have noticed. I got myself a toothbrush holder. I thought this was cute. And I like how it's just real simple and little too. It's not like um, like a cup. Like the we have one in our master bathroom that's a cup, but we have two sinks. And I wanted one at my sink, but I didn't want it to be too big. So hence why I got this one. This was like a prize find. This is a, what are they? Yeah, Terrier. Uh, galvanized terrarium. It reminds me of something that you'd find at like Target or something like that and it wasn't cheap. I mean $7.50 is kind of a lot but it's really cute. It's really pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't even know how you're supposed to like it's supposed to be like this or like this or I'm sure you could do any of any of that but I think it'll be fun to have. I got this. This is really heavy too. This is a um it's a pot but it's like a like a I was gonna say glamour pot. Is that the right word? I think I would if I when I put a plant in here I'm gonna keep it in like a plastic pot because there's no drainage holes in this but it's just really pretty so I got this for one of my plants I got two of these pictures so they're see-through as you can see plus the sun is sun is shining I got two of these I think I'm gonna paint the frames but I really like the design there's the other one sorry it's very reflective and it's see-through oh it's so pretty though I love that flower and then the last thing I got was a few records so 
um, the Salvation Army, all of their records are 99 cents, and we have a record player, so I like to collect records. I already have quite a big collection, but anyway, so I got this one, Carmen Chopin, Helen Reddy. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with her, but it sounded familiar, and then, like, this is just really pretty, and I also have my records on display on the wall sometimes, so I thought this would be a pretty one, and, you know, 99 cents, it's not a huge gamble. Here is one of the first things I found, actually, thrifting, and this is just, like, a lantern, but I don't have anything like this, and I've had my eye on these for a long time. I've had ideas, like, not just for Christmas, but for Halloween, for fall, for any holiday. I mean, you can switch this out and make it work for anything. So I think it'll be so super cool. And this is a really big one for twelve fifty. It's a really good size one. I've seen these going for like 40, 50 bucks on Amazon and stuff. And I like that it's plain because I can choose what I want it for and switch it out for the seasons and stuff. So yeah, I wanted to show you that. Oh, and there is a little slot for a candle down there too. Okay guys, that was a quick little vlog. I feel like that was kind of a short vlog. I don't really know. Last time I thought it was going to be short and it ended up being way too long. So we'll see. I think that's going to be it for this little vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know. Let me know if you enjoy shorter vlogs or longer vlogs. Uh, I just enjoy making vlogs. I'm going to keep making them no matter what. I just really enjoy it. I like having them to look back on and stuff. So that's me, but I would love to hear what you guys like as well. Okay. Bye for now.